Hello friends, welcome to the second part of the topic friction. As explained in the previous lecture, we had a brief explanation regarding the concept of friction. And in this lecture, we'll continue with the topic limiting friction. So what basically is limiting friction? Uh, consider a body resting on a surface. The body in the sense what we talk uh, about the box in our previous lecture. It was lying on a rough surface. If the little force is applied on the body, it will not move. But on increasing the force, it will eventually move. So let me explain again with that figure what we explained in the last lecture. Your box is the body what we are talking about and it is lying on the rough surface. By applying force, initially the body will not move. But with increasing this force, the box will eventually move. That is because of friction. At first, the external force what we applied was very less. But with the increasing in the external force, the frictional force will also increase. But after that, the body will start to move. The minimum force required to move the body is called limiting friction. So here the minimum force P what we need to apply in order to get this box into motion that minimum force is known as limiting friction. So basically at this point the body is just on the point of moving or verge of moving. Still it hasn't moved. So we can say when this box is on just on the verge of moving forward its frictional force will be maximum. So during the limiting friction the friction force which is acting on that box is maximum. But once the bo uh, box starts moving, its friction will decrease. So that maximum force or the minim uh, minimum force required to bo uh, move the box is known as limiting friction. So today we will stop here and uh, wait for my ne next lecture.